Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Cole. I'm the Director of Medical Content and Authority at Hims and Hers, and I'm here to share four tips you should know about traveling with your GLP-1 treatment. Since taking your treatment involves an injection and GLP-1 medication needs to be refrigerated, you might be wondering, can I travel on an airplane with syringe needles? And how do I keep my medication cool when I'm en route to my destination? So here's what you need to know. Number one, the good news is that syringes are allowed on airplanes. Unused syringes are allowed when they're with injectable medication. You just need to declare these items at the checkpoint for inspection. And used syringes are allowed when they're in a sharp disposable container or other similar hard surface container. Number two, the TSA recommends, but doesn't require, that your medications be labeled to facilitate the security process. So carrying any relevant documentation about your compounded GLP-1 medication can make your travel day run smoother, especially if you ask any questions during security checks or customs. For example, you can carry a copy of your prescription or a letter from your healthcare provider. Number three, whether you're traveling by plane, train, car, or something else, you should use a portable cooler or insulated bag to hold your medication. If refrigeration isn't available during your travel, invest in a high quality portable cooler or insulated bag. This will help maintain the required temperature for your medication. You can consider using gel packs or ice packs designed specifically for medical purposes. You'll also wanna protect your medication from extreme temperatures. So avoid exposing the medication to excessive heat or cold and keep them away from direct sunlight, heaters, and air conditioning vents. And finally, number four, sometimes it's hard to stick to the same schedule when you're traveling. If you've realized that you've missed a dose, refer to the medication information you received when you were prescribed the medication to figure out what to do. Whether you take the missed dose or not depends on how many doses you've missed and how many days are left until your next regularly scheduled dose is supposed to occur. You can always reach out to your healthcare provider if you have any questions. And that's everything. I wish you safe travels and I hope you have a great trip.